Hello everyone. Today's story is going to, um, I'm going to have to share my screen so that you can see the story. It's on a website called Epic. I'm not sure if you have used Epic before. There we go. But it is a great place to find some new books. There are even some read alouds um, and you can sign up for a free account. So it's getepic.com if you want to check it out. The story is called Little Frog and the Scary Autumn Thing. And it's by Jane Yolen, and the pictures are drawn by Ellen Chi. Frogs love green. Green water, green lily pads, green leaves, green. But Autumn had come to the pond, turning everything red and gold. To Little Frog, red and gold were scary. They were the colors of hot sun and cold blood. She sat on a green lily pad and contemplated the trees. Half of them were now yellow, two of them were orange, one was a bright red, and all the rest were still green, sort of. She had never seen such a thing before. Well, she was only a little frog, and it was her first fall. Little Frog shuddered. Mama Frog jumped up next to her, which made the lily pad sway. Little Frog usually loved such swaying, but she was still shuddering, so the lily pad shuddered too. Be brave, Little Frog, said Mama Frog. Most things that are scary are only just new. You need to see what they are all about. Listen to their voices. Once you know them, they aren't scary anymore. That was certainly puzzling. Little Frog herself was pretty new and she wasn't scary, but she always listened to Mama Frog. So that day in early October, Little Frog decided to try to be brave and see what red and gold were all about, and orange. She hopped back into the water, the dark green water, and began to swim. Her heart was going bumpity bump, bumpity bump, and she did the backstroke, the side stroke, and some frog paddling too, but she made it to the shore. Brave little frog. She stuck one toe onto the brown dirt. After green, little frog loved brown the best. Brown is soft and comfortable and familiar. She took one step and another and another. Though now her heart was going bumpity bump and thumpity thump. Brave, brave little frog. Then Little Frog hopped a bit down a twisty path going toward the wood, the wood that was full of red and gold and orange. She wasn't sure about orange. Brave, brave, brave Little Frog. Suddenly a wind whooshed through the trees. Leaves began to rain down. Red leaves, yellow leaves, orange leaves, Scary leaves in scary colors making a scratchy, scratchy noise. Little Frog hopped this way, ran that way, spun about, fell down, ran again. She wasn't being very brave now. By the time she stopped hopping, running, spinning, and falling down, Little Frog was lost. Horribly, miserably lost. Besides, her right leg hurt. There was a little scrape on her knee and a spot of red blood. She shuddered again. Suddenly she wasn't so sure about red. It was dark in the woods, except for those patches of red and gold and orange and purple as well. She was absolutely not sure about purple. Strange sounds came from everywhere scary sounds. Whirr, chirr, vroom. Little Frog didn't feel very brave anymore. All she felt was scared. 
But then little frog listened more closely, just as Mama Frog had told her to. Whirr. That was the voice of the wind through the leaves. Chur. That was the voice of a squirrel up a tree. Varoom. That was the voice Papa Frog used in the spring. All friendly sounds that she knew. But everything was strange indeed, because it wasn't spring, it was autumn, and autumn was scary. Baroom! Frightened all over again, Little Frog looked around for the sound. And there, sitting on the top of a huge pile of red and gold and orange, and yes, even purple leaves, was Papa Frog himself singing his spring song, even though it was a scary autumn day. Come up, come up, sang Papa Frog. Think of the leaves as lily pad. Well, they didn't look like a lily pad. They weren't the color of a lily pad, but Little Frog tried to imagine them that way. She climbed up the pile thinking green, green, green all the way to the top, even though the red and gold and orange and purple leaves were scratchy, scratchy underfoot. Then she sat down by Papa Frog right on top of the leaves as if that pile was a really, was really a lily pad. There, boomed Papa Frog. That wasn't so bad now, was it? For a while, Little Frog thought about how bad it was. Then she thought about how the leaves were actually kind of crispy, how they were gold like the rising sun orange like the sky at dawn, and red like the sky at sunset. She still wasn't sure about purple. She thought about how autumn leaves made a tickly sound in the wind. They weren't scary at all, just new. Papa and Mama Frog were right. Then Little Frog and Papa Frog slid down the pile of leaves together with red and gold and orange and even purple leaves sliding down all around them. It was so much fun, Little Frog climbed up and slid down again and again. Red and gold and orange are not scary at all, said Little Frog. Not when you really get to know them. Papa Frog looked at the pile again, and purple's not scary either, he said. Only new. At last, arm in arm, Little Frog and Papa Frog happily hopped and danced all the way home to the pond where Mama Frog had made a fresh shoe fly pie for dinner, something all three of them knew well. It was still hot, just the way they liked it best. And even better, inside it was all green. The end. All right, friends. Thank you for joining me for that story. I hope you liked it, even though it was kind of long. Um, I'll see you again later.